music in Austin. Uh, just going live uh, for a hot second. Hello, uh, if anybody else jumps in there live and comments, great. Uh, Kendall's looking at the, the phone behind the, the ring, so if he sees any comments, he'll yell it out to me. But basically, uh, I wanted to go live about this South by Southwest being canceled. Um, not surprised. It's kind of funny to me. Um, I've been ranting to all my friends and family about, you know, the whole idea of canceling it and preventing or, or trying to avoid COVID-19, the beer flu uh, coming to town. Um, though they're not closing airports and they're not closing the highways. And so there's folks that still have tickets from other countries um, and hotel rooms that aren't going to get refunds and they're still going to come in and they're going to play all of the off shows or the non-official shows. So all the official showcases and events are all canceled. But what does that mean for me and you? Um, I live here in Austin. I love Austin and I live for, well, okay, I don't really live for South by, but I love South by. I love going to South by every year and wandering around and going into the bars and the parking lots and the restaurants and everywhere they've thrown up the stage and seeing all the free music, checking out new bands from everywhere. Music I never heard of before and never would hear, except for South By. Um, bands that I've heard of, but all of a sudden here they are right there in the parking lot in front, right in front of me or on the back of a trailer. Um, it's just, it's an awesome, great, fun time for me. I know a lot of people hate South By. Okay, whatever, then don't go. Um, a lot of people say South By has cannibalized itself with how big it got and all the things. I kind of was one of those people. Um, but the whole vibe of South By itself with, with all of the music, uh, Omar Vallejo, uh, he just posted a few minutes ago, South By's canceled, South By, so what? Um, that means more room for all the local bands to do their thing. I 100% agree. For all those bands out there in the world that are still going to be in town and you know, if they're not shutting down the bars and you still got your events, you know, y'all need to really go hard in letting everybody know where you're going to be at, where you're performing. I want to know. Hell, I want to know what's going to happen with, with you know, Greg and Destiny. You know, what's going on at one to one? Are y'all going to close the bar? Or are y'all going to continue? Have, I saw y'all had something posted up. Uh, ben, you and, and uh, Anthony. Is, is come and take it's gonna shut down completely or are you guys still gonna be open and y'all gonna run your thing the dirty dog man a ton of free stuff happening at the dirty dog this whole upcoming south by week uh so and unless they're shutting down the bars and kicking people out and closing the highways sounds like the party is still gonna happen i'm gonna be out there um i'm not gonna be in a hazmat suit though it might be kind of funny um i look forward to going out there omar i'll find you sir we'll go hang out we'll have a beer three beers and a whiskey um but anyway that was kind of my i'm not gonna rant about why they closed it or protecting the brand image and and if something happens they don't want to have people leave Austin, texas and then it turns out they have covid you know the beer flu and and then all of a sudden they trace it back and say, oh, it was because of South By. So they want the brand name and the brand image tarnished because, you know, an outbreak started here because they didn't cancel the festival. Fine. Still going to happen. We're still going to party. Music's still going to happen. Um, but that was really my question is, if the official stuff's canceled, okay, and? Um, but, man, y'all hit me up on uh, the Live Music in Austin page. Uh, post out there what's going on, what's still happening, what's what's going to be going down. Um, you know, Ben and Destiny love Ben and Destiny. Good God, I swear to God, I've only had one beer right now. Greg and Destiny love you. Ben, Anthony, love you guys. Uh, Omar, everybody out there, all the bars and clubs, the venues. Um, let's keep it live. Well, for this coming week, it may not be live and local, but go out there and have fun. And okay, maybe it won't be a half a million people. But we're still going to do some fun, do some damage, uh, maybe punch our livers a few times. But anyway, so it's canceled. So what? Take the official brand off of it. Let's make this party back like it was 1989, 91. And if that's way too far back for you, okay, let's make it like it was 2002. But anyway, uh, love y'all. 
And uh, hey, by the way, on Three Beers and a Whiskey channel, I'm gonna throw this out there. If anybody's watching or sees this in the next two hours, you know, and sees me ranting about South by um, Three Beers and Whiskey tonight. We got Tyler Fambro that's gonna be uh, on. We're gonna interview him. Uh, he'll do a little acoustic set after the interview. Um, should be fun and interesting. Another new, young, local, upcoming artist uh, in the country music genre. Go figure. Um, but it's going to be fun, a good interview. Uh, we'll do our three beers and a whiskey thing. And then uh, in about a week, I'm going to be out there plowing through the streets. Oh, that was a bad joke. I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, I'm going to be just kicking it out there for South by and having a good time. Uh, you know, the... Uh, the Marissa birthday, our wedding anniversary, my birthday is all coming up that first opening weekend of South By. So if you see me out there, yes, you can buy me a beer. Yes, you can buy me a whiskey. Uh, anyway, party's still going to happen, man. South By, unofficial, that shit's going to rock. So we'll see y'all later. Peace out. See y'all in about two hours for uh, three beers and whiskey.